Yo, welcome back to another episode, episode 10 of Starfield with Reality Gaming. It's your boy, Agi, and we are about to do some more quests. Last time you saw us, we just got the Mantis ship, and we are now the new Mantis of Starfield. So, let's take a look at what we got. We got some skill points to use. Let's go ahead and spend these points on something uh, important like uh, conversation. Persuasion has been lacking lately, so let's uh, let's make sure we can we can riz these people with our charm. All right, let's see. Commerce unlock uh, by five percent less and sell for ten percent more. Okay, uh, craft. <coughs> Excuse persuasion. Let's see. This is still locked. We got to successfully do three more speech challenges before we can upgrade this. Scavenger, uh, let's see, it's a chance you'll find extra credits when you're searching for crates. Okay, I'll take that. And theft, unlock ability to pickpocket. So, pickpocket targets, yes, yes. We're here for all the thug foolery and the goonery. We're gonna be stealing from people. All right, let's go. Um, now we can also increase our stealth. So let's go rank two is available, updates the stealth meter. You are 50% more difficult to detect when sneaking. Suppressed weapons do an additional 10% sneak attack damage. Yes. All right, so we got two points left on the board. Let's put them somewhere weightlifting. Uh, we don't really care about weightlifting. Let's go, let's increase our oxygen count because now we have a better jetpack. So having more oxygen is going to be useful because apparently this game, if you use jetpacks, your oxygen is running low. And then our piloting skills. Yes, we need more piloting skills. There we go. So there we have it. Five points spent. We're looking at a mostly tech and uh, combat specific build ballistics. We're going to get these upgraded next on the next, uh, up not an upgrade, um, level up. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So we are good. Let's back out. Let's go ahead and pick a mission. Check out this Mantis suit, by the way. We're using a slight mod that does a color change on the Mantis suit. So we got a little red accents here. I think it looks really badass. Really uh, intimidating if you saw this in person. So let's go find something to do. Let's take a beaten path off of the, uh, the main story quest. Let's go return some money. We did a Landry Holloway, Hollyfield uh, mission. And now it's time to go get paid and blow up like the world too soon. So let's go ahead and set a course. And let's get Moolah, baby. All right, where's my destination marker at? All right, there we go. Alpha Centauri, let's go ahead and blast our way there. Let's put all this power back on our drive. We don't need our lasers to do anything. This ship is a massive, massive ship. Super fun to play around with. This is going to be our main ship for a while in this playthrough because I just like how powerful and how cool this ship looks. Uh, contraband check. I don't think we have any contraband on us, do we? We shouldn't. Alright. I almost had me worried for a second there. I'm like, I didn't steal nothing this time. Uh, let's not go to the lodge. Let's go to commercial district. Let's go ahead and land and go get paid. And might be pick up another bounty hunt uh, mission for this playthrough. Try to get us some more money because uh, money is a scarce commodity in this game. Sometimes for the things you want to do. Oh, so Neon's got nothing on New Atlantis. Let's go get that money. By the way, rocking this uh, this dope trucker hat. Now let's go a little further away. This is too close. And you know what? Why, why are we using our legs when we could be using our jetpack? Legs? What are those? There we go. Just bounce around. There we go. So hopefully we get a nice decent cut out of this current mission. I think uh, the person we need the money from, we killed them. So you yeah, know what? Right. It plays out the way it plays out sometimes. Rampant capitalism. Got to keep it loose. But 
I keep stumbling over the Together third we can protection. really make a difference. My favorite credit analyst is back. So Dieter's estate has already settled our claim, and Gal Bank scores another victory. I'm guessing, but hoping, that he didn't give you an option. But either way, the bank's thrilled with this new initiative. Well, not a surprise. And you know, if you keep working with us, it's probably gonna happen again. Hopefully that doesn't scare you off. Listen, I'm really feeling this working together, aren't you? So if you want another delinquent, let me know. We'll keep this going. But here is your well-deserved finder's fee. All right, all right. I got a new job for you, if you're up for it. So chalk this one up to a very fine but clearly overworked credit checker that accidentally approved a sizable loan, then turned out to be murdering space scum. A real black guy, I know. I'm thinking conversation is not really going to be an option on this one, friend. It's all a matter of scale. Gal Bank processes umpteen loans a day. Inevitably, mistakes are made. And that's when I get the call. A sort of fiscal circle of life, if you will. Well, you, you are really something, you know. Here's all the details, a and thanks. All right, let's uh, let's set a course for this new mission. Kill delinquent spacer. All right, I even got to talk to him. The old Dan DeVito uh, approach, huh? Just come in blasting. All right, let's take a look. Where is this individual located? Uh, let's see. They're in orbiting. All right. Let's take a look at where exactly on the star maps that would be. Since we've already been here before, I don't think we need to worry about doing a big old jump. A couple times we could do one straight jump. And we can just land right on this planet and get that money. Alright, let's get to it. Tally ho! By the way, the mod, the jetpack is modded, so clearly, this is how the jetpack should have probably worked from day one in this game. Um, just has way more of a usability factor than just a little burst. You know, you want to get that San Andreas jetpack. Did that man just come out of the water? You know, there was a ramp, right? <laughs> okay, dip your toes a little bit. Why don't you? Uh, let's get back on this nap. Back to our spaceport, jump on our Mantis uh, Razor Leaf, and beeline it to this money. All right. Look at him run. Look at him run like a little bitch. <laughs> And also getting rid of the uh, the tint on this game, thank goodness, it just adds more cleaner colors to the visuals, a little bit more of a realistic feel. So if you're playing it on PC, whether Steam or Game Pass, please just just install the reshade of any reshade that gets rid of this damn tint because it makes the game look that much better and it just feels that more uh, immersive. Speaking of immersive, look at that big ass ship. Now that's the ship. All right, let's get on board and let's get the hell out of here. You gotta give it to them, man. Like they really made these ships feel true to scale. Like I'm kind of almost hoping for a Star Wars game similar to this, where you could just jump on the Millennium Falcon and really get that sense of scale. Like a Star Wars game bailed, built off of this engine or this kind of like structure Hello. would be hella dope. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Yeah, I doubt you were really satisfied I survived my sleep cycle. You want to be the captain, you stupid robot. <laughs> He's like, damn it, he lived again. 
Gotta smother his ass next time. The only thing I don't like about this tape-up animation is you never see them break atmospheric like layers. It just has that Star Wars like take off and land, no real physics to it type of feel that I wish it just it just added that extra little layer realism. But anywho, can't have them all. Oh, oh. Is that we starting off the day? Just with a space battle? Okay. That was unexpected. Alright, let's take a lot of uh, stuff and put them on our laser because these guys want to. <laughs> they just want to get at They just want to get to it. I did not. I did not ask for this. I was coming to say hello. I just want to get to it. All right, cool, cool. You know what? Let me let me get you on on. Let me get you in. Let's take a look at your engines and let's just blow you down. We're gonna board your ass. We're gonna kill your ass. God shit. My bad, dog. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit more uh, judicious with this last person. So let's go ahead and just take down his shields. Go ahead and bring down their shield and their engine. Make sure we just weaken them as much as we can. So I definitely want to dock on this and say a little hello. There we go. Is it me you're looking for? I got a pistol in your eye. <laughs> and I'm about to blow your brains. I double tap my enemies. <laughs> so uh, let's board these motherfuckers and say hello. And uh, we gonna say a nice, pleasant hello. Don't tell me y'all bitch is hiding now. Y'all better not be hiding. Hey. Drop him like he's hot. Ah, shit. Gotta... Damn. God, we didn't bring enough. There we go. Damn. I hope Sam ain't dead. Oh, there you go. He's good. He's good. Alright. Let's go ahead and take over these credits. Don't need that weak ass gun. What's this? Food. Take that. Credits and ammo. Most death. What you got? I got whatever suit that is. All right. The boy survived. I'm just gonna just take a seat. Go ahead and undock this vessel. Let's take a look at its stats. Let's see if this thing is even worth taking. I doubt it's gonna be worth taking, but. Just a regular ass, you know, nothing spectacular, nothing right home about, but it's a decent ship. Meanwhile, the best ship of all right there is just chilling. Uh, uh, gotta be careful. All right. Now, a lot of these people that we killed, they had some money on them. Where did all, the, all the money go? There it is. There's all that money. Let's go, go collect this money. I 
got some ship parts. What is the next thing to grab? Relief alone. Let's go ahead and grab this. All right. Now, is there anything left to grab? Nothing left to grab. Let's go ahead and avoid the razor leaf. Let's go ahead and destroy this ship. Let's go back and dock. Man, it's a decent ship. But let's go ahead and blow it up and grab whatever, whatever. Uh, loot we can from this ship. Nothing that I really want. Uh, let's go ahead and board our ship. You keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. Because I'm rich, bitch. Alright, let's go ahead and undock. And turn our weapons onto this ship. And let's blow it up. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab all this loot. Mm. That's how you do it. Repair our own ship. Let's go ahead and take all this power off the lasers. Put it back in the jump drive. And let's go collect our bounty. Pretty straightforward little side quest. Show up, blow up, leave. Bitch, I ain't got shit on me. Back where we started, yeah. let's go take this money back and let's collect our finder's fee. And I think we'll do a lot of side quests in this playthrough. We'll, we'll be go off the beaten path for today's episode, just get some playthrough of some side quests out of the way. And uh, yeah, just kind of have fun exploring the uh, the universe of Starfield. I'm surprised nobody talks about you being the new Mantis wearing the Mantis suit around like I wonder if this Mantis individual is kind of like the Batman lore where few people know about him but it's still a myth together we can really make a difference one pirate's unfortunate demise logged we're making space safer fulfilling our civic obligation <laughs> this is great right all right 3,000 for that one nice Nice, got three G's in the bank. All right, deputized. We're gonna take a break off of that. Let's go to our miscellaneous, and we have uh, some guard mentioned that a certain uh, Emerald Wolf of the Low House could use some help. Might be worth investigating. All right, let's go talk to this individual and let's see uh, what kind of help they need rendered from the new Mantis. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Set course. Well, why can't I just track this? I, I swear the menu system in here is so clunky sometimes. It's just. There we go. Okay. All right. Now let's go. Let's go handle our business. Of you and me. 
You don't get shot now. These cops don't look like they play. You have a nice day now. Been up there, huh? Space? Must be cool. I never get to go to space. Ah, well, sucks to be you. Should not be a cop then. Alright, let's make a stop in the distribution center real quick. Let's see if we can buy some ammo, some parts. You know, the usual stuff. Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Yeah, what you got for sale? Yes, of course. Please, take a look. Ah, oh, would you look at that? Money. Let's go ahead and grab this. We're definitely grabbing this. The pacifier. And look at this thing. Good God almighty. Alright, let's get some ammo packs. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. No, I don't need that helmet. Can grab this. Let's go ahead and buy up all of this. Ship parts. Go ahead and buy up all of this. Alright, looks like we're good. Back to it then. So now we got some guns, some ammo. Let's go make our way back to the ship. And let's take on the next quest. Before we do that, take a look at these guns. Pick up some items. And uh, this thing looks like it is going to be an epic weapon in the field. Look at that. Double barrel. Big old magazine. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. Hollow sights. What else we got? This suit looks like a if you retexture this color for this suit, you could definitely make a um, a Mandalorian style like Boba Fett suit out of that. And look at this! Oh, we got it. Oh, we gonna be tearing up a lot of people with this. Look at this. Oh yeah, this is gonna be our new favorite toy. The pacifier. The oh man. Short nose shotgun, close range ballistics. Yeah, we gonna be blowing holes through people now. But yeah, no, we got we got some stuff. We got some stuff. We are going to be a menace to society soon. So let's go uh, Let's go find some menaces to uh, terrorize. and just walk our way back to our ship. Mm. 
no need for that riffraff right now. Let's just walk our way back to our ship. Be cool and collected. Don't start no trouble. Won't be no trouble. But once we in that space, we shooting everybody. Saw your ship coming. Nice ride. Where is the ship person? Is this you? Oh, there he is. There you go. I gotta talk to this guy. Hey, got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities always buy. All right, let's go ahead and fix our ship first. So I'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed. And then let's go ahead and. Look at some modifications. Sure. How about it? All right, let's uh, let's upgrade this ship. We want to add something that just has a little bit more punch than our current weapons array. An EMP suppressor. A cannon, okay. Um, let's throw a cannon on this thing, why not? Our weapon. Let's put some uh, Auto cannon, okay. Let's see, is there anything else that raises us a couple more bars? So if you got two bars, the suppressor and the auto cannon. Let's see, uh, fire rate 6.5, haul damage 18, shield damage six. Uh, let's, what about this, we go down. Electromagnetic damage 48, max power 8, hull damage 72, but fire rate is just 1.8 and the range is only 800 meters. Meanwhile, the same thing happens for our cannon, uh, but our fire rate's a little bit. So, which is more important, huh? The, 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 the fire rate? I think let's, let's go with this. If people if, if don't like it, we can always change it back. And then here we can throw on these for a added purchase, you know, just a little added purchase. There we go. So we got a big old cannon up front, followed by two, four, so two by two, two of them, uh, suppressors, EMP suppressors. And then we got our two big old auto cannons in the back. That's what's up. Take a look at our engine. What can we do for our engine? Can we make our engine any better? I don't think we can. Our engine is pretty much what it is. And it's not going to get any better. But let's take a see if we can... Hmm. What is this? Maneuvering thrust. Engine thrust. Alright, looks like we might just get a little white dwarf engine power right there. Let's take a look at our she our grab drive. This is a pretty much a solid drive as it comes. And we cannot increase our shield. Okay. Alright, so that's that. I go ahead and accept all modifications. So this ship is just a little bit more better. And now let's take a look at just uh Let's go ahead and just hold here and let's give this ship a much darker feel i feel like a more the darker the black there we go all right that's good and then let's take a look at uh let's go ahead and select this again and let's take a look at the color and let's go to color two color two 
Maybe we'll just go for a more... Ooh, that green looked kind of nice. There we go. Okay, we'll go for a, a little bit of a green, but a darker, less uh, less pronounced green. There we go, a little bulb effect color in there. And let's go ahead and select all again. And by the way, select all is the left bumper. Once you select all, it, it takes the entire ship. So whenever you make a color change, it applies it to all the parts as opposed to doing it piece by piece where you might mismatch some colors. Now that we have our select all selected again, let's go to our third color. And our third color was currently this nice gold. Let's kind of brighten that up just a little bit to kind of stand out against the green. And now we have something that looks a little bit more, but our colors are red. So let's go, let's see what red looks like. So we'll, we'll do red accents here. And then we'll probably change color too. Let's see what that yellow looks like. Uh, not as not as good as I thought it would. But a black, red, and gold ship definitely has a a nice color scheme to it. So let's go a little bit darker, a little lighter on the yellow. Let's see if you can just get it just a little bit brighter. Let's see if it, if that makes any difference. Yeah, there we go. Looks like it's a, now it has more of a gold accent as opposed to just being. Um, just here we go. So this is better. I like this. So red with some gold accents and a primarily black ship. Now, one thing I didn't see, though, is the material. But I wish you could make this, you know, more of a of a satin or a matted black painting but a black color so to speak but we can't so we just got to kind of keep the shimmer still and uh deal with it as it is but for now we will go with a black red and gold ship i think that fits our um everything is nominal everything is good good let's go ahead and back out let's go ahead and accept all these changes and let's exit And let's see what kind I'm of ship sure you have for sale. You like. Is there anything else better than what we have? I, I highly doubt it. But, okay. The shield breaker is somewhere in our realm of, you know, luxury. Definitely filling all these thrusters. Shields are better. Engine is slightly lower. Grab drive is better. But lasers are on point. Ballistics, though, not as much. Not as much. Nope, not feeling that either. Like, okay, it looks like, you know what? The ship we have is pretty legit, so we'll stick to our ship. Let's go and take a look at it now. Let's see, there we go. Now that is a paint job. There we go. I feel like now we have a little more of a of a color. The hat matches the <laughs> the hat matches the gold. The black and the red matches the suit. You know, we gotta coordinate. And Vasco happens to match the ship just perfectly now. Got some red accents, some black, and a little bit of white. Hey, we in here, baby. We in here. We got we got the perfect looking ship with the perfect looking crew. Now let's go do some hooligan activities. Glad to see you're back. Reading good books lately? Uh, I do have books, but I'm gonna give them to you. I'm working hard, Captain. I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place, like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. Bye. Damn, Sam already wants to get going. I would say he's probably one of the more entertaining uh, co-pilots in this game or, or, or uh, companions. Definitely uh, my kind of person to hang out with. Let's 
go ahead and take off. And let's head back to Aquila City with our brand new painted ship with upgrades galore. Let's make the jump to Aquila City. Oh, okay. Okay. it a lot. What do we got here? Why do we have so many uh, markers? sidearm handy. Parts of town can get rough. Alright, speaking of sidearm, let's go ahead and equip some new weapons in our ongoing pursuit to be the most baddest motherfucker on this planet. Alright. We got that. We got that. Let's go ahead and add this to our our side of destruction. We got some pretty decent weapons now. I think going into battles would be almost an inconvenience. It would be a waste of bullets now just to fight people because, like, you pull this thing out, ain't nobody coming home. At least not on their side. All right, let's see. Let's just let's take a look. Let's make sure. We got a lot of destructive power. Let's uh, let's take. Let's put a sidearm on us. Where? What what to replace though? Let's let's replace this with a sidearm. And let's also add another handgun to our to our arsenal here. And I think we'll be all set to take on here we go. So let's go ahead and add this to our sidearm. Let's go ahead and replace. Let's go ahead and replace this. Alright, cool. So we got that. Let's take a look at our aid. I don't anticipate this story being any real attack, but let's just make sure we have we have stuff on deck. Because when it gets tough, we're gonna have to merc everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and add this to our food. And then here we go. So now we got our sidearm. We got our other sidearm for stealth. We got the shotgun for close range. We got whatever this. This is gonna be a ooh, it's gonna be painful. We got this guy, and then if it wasn't enough, we got this to clear holes through streets. So let's go ahead and let's uh. Let's start this mission and let's find our person of interest. Are they behind this wall? Okay, all right, let's go around. Definitely get a reshade for this game because my God, look how much better Aquila City looks. 
without that orange tint that was always like kind of hanging in the frame. Yeah, whatever, bitch. You got work to do. Anywho, what I was saying is without a reshade, man, this place looked like it was stuck in a in a weird fallout world type of visual. But with the reshade, removing all that filter shit, this looks perfect. Alright, let's keep going. We're almost there. Person. I sell books. Nope, Physical. nope, not yet. Space is a Let's go keep going down one more level. Let's go ahead and turn. It looks like, oh, we gotta keep going down. Okay, damn. There's no stairway that connects the two, so we just gotta keep, keep it moving. found our location perfect let's go ahead and walk into this hut looking building and let's start a conversation with this interesting looking lady still doesn't feel like enough yo them eyes is wild moment to hear about the got a sith lord it mean a lot to me and to others Good to know there's still some folks who can take an interest in the welfare of others. The Low House is a place where folks down on their luck can get a hot meal and a bed to sleep in. More importantly, they can do it with some dignity. No need to beg or steal. Everything's given with no questions asked and no favors old. I run the place. Have for years. But to do it, I have to rely on the kindness of others. <laughs> That's right. And most people want to. Sometimes they just need a helping hand to pull them up from a dark place and set them on their feet again. Look, I'll be honest with you. We get a little help from some other wealthier folks in the city. But it's barely enough. It takes credit to provide for those in need. And I'm hoping you'll be willing to contribute. If you can spare a few credits. It'll do a lot of good. Ah, uh, okay. A hundred dollars? A hundred dollars? Yeah, we could do a hundred dollars. Of course. Thank you. I don't know if you believe in karma, but I do. I think you just end yourself some. Okay. All right. We, we just improve the welfare of your city, Sam. What you got to say for yourself? So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? Ain't you ever heard of sarcasm, friend? Okay, so how is it traveling with one of the great Co's? Not better? <laughs> well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Cole and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. I am. 
And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Cora, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... Kind words are appreciated. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Cull. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now. <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? Yeah, uh, what? Oh, <laughs> now you're gonna make me blush. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Now, if you're telling me they still make comic books in 2300, well, shit. Sign me up for this future. Why we still got a marker on her? The low house can only help the community because of generous donations. If you're serious, I'm drowning in work. Philborn Agricultural Systems fits basically everyone in the stretch. Bless the Philborn brothers. But their latest IntelliWeed shipment is late. I'm not worried yet, but getting there. Could you ask Sarah Philborn what the holdup is, very politely? We buy it at a deep, deep discount, below their costs. I know not everyone approves of Henry getting more into brewing, but I don't care. The whole family has earned my eternal thanks. This is a huge help. If there's anything you can do to speed up the wheat delivery, please do it. I'll have more work for you when you get back. Ah, oh, you're a fetch quest giver. All right, let's go talk to this uh, Sarah individual. And let's see what the holdup is. I wish this uh, this ground marker would stay more consistent. I just he I just hate turning it off and on just to see where I'm going. All right, it looks like we are close enough to Sarah to only need this anymore. And you know what? Wait, where are they at though? Right, there we go. Go ahead and talk to Sarah. See what's up. Why the package is late. Brother focused on food production instead of wasting time brewing beer. If I ran things, we wouldn't have this problem. Ah. Is there trouble in paradise? 
If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere. Either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. Dear me, no, Weston's a fine man. If anything, that's why I want more from him. He could do even greater things, if only he could see that. I'm not some stuck-up teetotaler. My problem with the business is more nuanced. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Henry's the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company. And now all he wants to do is brew beer. Philburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Seems those two are content to think small. Well, I wish you were the one I had to convince. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? And try to come between Weston and his brother? They'd never allow it. Oh, I've tried to drop hints and make suggestions, but it all falls on deaf ears. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, of course. The company's healthy, and Weston and I live well enough. I just... I'd like to help, you know? I'd like to be a part of things, instead of feeling like I'm playing second fiddle. I suppose I should just accept my lot and try to find peace with it. <sighs> I know, we're late. It's been this whole frustrating episode. Short version. The farming equipment outside the walls needs to be manually rebooted. But the guards aren't going to be able to send people to fix it for days. We're committed to helping the unfortunates on the stretch, but the Ashta are just too dangerous for us to send someone. The full story would take ages. Henry is supposed to be on top of production issues. But his precious latest batch of beer is at a critical point. Whatever the hell that means. And Aldwin Wright's robots should have been overhauled a month ago, but he's just one man and all of Aquila needs him pretty much all the time. So whether we're supposed to or not, Weston and I are handling it. You must be new to Aquila City. Outside the city walls are dangerous predators. They've been the bane of colonists from day one. Only well-armed and well-trained people walk outside. Otherwise, they become just the latest statistic. You would do that? If you get it rebooted, I'll get the harvest going ASAP. We can get the weed to Amira quick. I'll talk with my husband, but I'm sure we could arrange payment. You'd be helping our business too, after all. Just, just be careful. Ashta are very dangerous. We're just looking for a reason to use these brand new guns, honestly. This is just the perfect reason to blast some holes in motherfuckers. And plus, these are just animals, so it's even better. I ain't gonna feel no remorse when I'm shooting that Gatling gun. I'm gonna pepper the meat. Pause. Alright, let's 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 head out to the gates. We could walk. But let's uh, let's get our oxygen levels up real quick. We're gonna just jetpack over this whole thing. Ain't no need to be standing here walking when we can just be out here. So let's go. Ready? Three, two, one, lift off. Go ahead and just break our fall. And there we go. Saved us like five minutes of walking. Let's go ahead and just pull up a, let's pull out a, a regular pistol for now. Wait for these animals. 
there are some robots lurking around the establishment, so let's see. Taking a walk is a full body workout here. our way up this ramp. Uh-huh. Already hearing some noises. Alright, shit. Well, let's get it, bitch. That's it? That, that, that was a big problem? These little things? These things ain't shit. I even used the, my full power. Okay, nice try. I'm telling you, you pull up on the wrong one, homie. We, we, we don't play that. All right, let's go ahead and use this console. All right. Let's see, uh, added nitrate supplements per Filbert's request. Some test seeds added per Henry Special Projects. Almost a new version. All right. Backed out of the control. Added disinfectant. Climate control calibration all. Okay, nobody messed with it then. It's just, this needs to be rebooted. <coughs> hmm. All right up and running as intended. All right, let's go ahead and let's see if we can clear out. Let's kind of, let's have a reason to use this. Let's see if there's any more of these uh, Ashta around here. That was it? Just three? Huh. Disappointing, really. Okay. Looks like that was taken care of. We got robots doing harvesting. What is this guy? This is actually kind of a cool little... Looks like a defense robot more than anything. Mm, let's put away our guns for now. Let's take a look if we can talk to this or interact with it. Gotcha, okay. Well, we're safe. Mission complete. Let's go ahead and just jetpack over this wall again. No need to walk. Let's get our health real quick back up to our levels. But before we do that, let me just shoot this off one time. Ooh. Celebrating something. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be hard keeping that weapon stocked, though, because, man, those bullets go quick. Alright, let's go over this wall. Alright, let's go ahead and just land gracefully. There we go. Let's head back to Amira Wolf. Let her know that the plot of wheat is going to be delivered soon. And she can start feeding the homeless one more time.
Those walls are so. Ain't no Ashley getting in here. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor? Mother, am I right? Let's have this conversation and get out of here. We don't get that wheat shipment soon. The emergency fund's empty. So please, that is good, good news. Uh, what was the holdup anyway? Might be we could invite the Johnsons over. Those sad sacks in my home? If you won't help Marco find a job, least we could do is give them a good meal. I don't mean to be callous, but working with the locals... Oh, that nice makes sense. sense. Aren't they outside the walls? Wait, you went outside the walls, didn't you? Please, don't risk yourself like that. If anyone got hurt working for the low house. I hate to ask it, but this next errand should be safe. Easy. Everything runs on charity. And our benefactors, though kind, I think sometimes... Well, get sick of seeing me. A new face may ease up the purse strings, or at least save me some errands. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's a hell of a... <laughs> I can get sick of helping you too. <laughs> It's touch and go sometimes. Pests are too much and they could turn their back on the project. Too little and people suffer. So the mayor, Elias Cartwright, has always been generous to us, but it's been a while since he's donated. Raisha Lanz is a huge benefactor. Laredo Firearms has been vital for us. Both of those are routine, more polite reminders, really. The last is a long shot, probably futile, but the Trade Authority is incredibly wealthy, and they have never ever donated to us. If you could convince Duncan Lynch to give us anything, heck, a single credit even, I'd consider it a victory. If it's any consolation, I feel that way often. But it's noble to sacrifice your own pride for the benefit of others. At least that's what I keep telling myself. Once you're done with that, come back to me. All right, you, you better have some money for me or something. Thank you for your time. Something. All right. Not gonna. We're not gonna walk all this. We, we got a jetpack. Let's 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 use this to our advantage. Let's talk to this first person. Hey, heard you had Dunlop's disease. Huh? What? No, like Your belly got Outside the wall, things get dicey. I'll start no jump. In for us. I get called on one more drunk in this order. I used to get really grossed out by blood, but I'm used right, to it let's, now. Let's. Nah, we ain't gotta use no weapons to intimidate nobody. Just gotta have a little words. Hello there. So good to see you. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. 
Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core, because it was built later as the city grew. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite as much space, but it's cheaper, so it all works out. I feel like this is the kind of guy that he wants to hear himself talk, so we'll let him talk for a while and then we'll beg him for money. Ah, you must be referring to The Rock. It's home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers are headquartered in the upper floors. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say, I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. What day is it? Oh, shoot! I forgot. I'll send over my usual monthly donation to Amira. She truly is a wonder. And with the building project her and Mr. Tate are planning, there may be a day when the stretch is a distant memory. Well, for me, unlike the UC, we don't tax our people to death. The city's budget is very tight, so it forces the community to look after its own. I'll talk with Amira later. I didn't mean to cause any problems. Between thwarting bank robberies and helping the stretch, you have the city's thanks. Truly. Alright, okay, so we got that donation if you down. Run into any problems in my town, you come tell me. I know Actually, Snitch. Tell the Rangers. They might come tell you, because they're gonna be shot. Where is our next person? Trade authority. Let's see what money they gonna give. Mm. Kila City is bustling. One of the busiest trade authority branches in the galaxy. Good to the know. Trade authority looks to partner with local governments to find mutually beneficial arrangements. Well, like the name says, we promote and facilitate interstellar trade. I won't bore you with all the minutiae and laws, contracts, regulations, and the like. What I will say is that a steady flow of goods and services from one place to another is vital to the stability and survival of the settled systems. A scarcity of resources would lead to unrest, anarchy, and maybe even war. Nobody wants that. Got it. Alright, here we'll spend some money just to distract them for a bit. And then we will ask him for money. You know, you gotta throw him off your scent a little bit. 
the regulator. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely buying that. The suppressed regulator. Damn, okay. Give me that too. Let's go ahead and look at some ammo. Never hurts to stock up on the good stuff. Let's see what kind of seats you got for sale. Oh, I got a little, uh, this looks like a, a Batman tank suit. All right. We've indulged with this man enough. I think it's time for him to pay up. Grab that med pack. Resources, let's see, what do what she got? Aluminum, I need a lot of that. There we go, thank you. Now I need to talk to you Welcome about something. Welcome to Aquila City's Trade Authority. The Trade Authority has a firm policy of not getting involved in internal matters. We're neutral in all affairs of the governments of the Free Star Collective and the United Colonies. You can't be... It's a matter of precedent. If we give even a little, we open ourselves up for endless rounds of... begging. No, not one credit. Sorry. I'm done discussing this matter. Hmm. Wow. This man said... He said no. Wow. You have a great day. You're a real bitch, you hey, know that? Don't. don't hurt them. Oh, you were trying to reach for something? This man. Right now may not be the best time to talk to me. Or what? All right, we need to talk. Right now. When I started traveling with you, I didn't expect you to be a saint. But the way you've been acting, you are a member of Constellation. You should act like it. I don't know what's going on with you. But maybe it's not a good idea for Cora and I to be traveling with you. Uh, what'd I do wrong? Uh, I'm not letting you weasel your way out of this. You know what you've done. And hell, if you don't know, things are even worse than I thought. Ah, oh, come on, could be in a Against bitch. better judgment, I'll bite. What do you have to say for yourself? Ah, uh, hell, it's not like I don't want to forgive you. All right, then, bitch, do it. I've made my career about making mistakes, but this... Damn, homie. <sighs> I don't Come know. on, man, stay, fam. This is hard to let go. All of us have made mistakes. I mean, I know that more than most. So please, just try and keep it together, okay? He wasn't trying to donate, man. He was a real bitch. Stingy-ass motherfucker, you know? You have, to, you have to pop him a little bit. Yeah. Alright, we got one last donation left to go grab. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. I think you'll find I'm pleased you chose to visit us today. What you got for sale? I have in stock right now. What she got? A boosted. 
Oh shit, we got a silencer and a boosted. Okay, a coach. We already got a coach. We already got this. Already got that. Don't really need a snub. You know what? This looks all nice and all, but I don't think I need that. Don't need that. And I already have the prime. Okay, so nothing you have for sale here. It's worth buying. Let's just take all your all your ammo. Every gun gets a full Laredo guarantee. Oh. So Amira has some help? Good. She's going to work herself into an early grave if she's not careful. Laredo Firearms prides itself in helping out all the residents of Aquila City. I'll send Justin over to deliver our monthly donation. The trite answer would be a sense of civic responsibility. But the truth? Guilt. To achieve the level of success I have, broken promises, neglected loved ones, and tough calls. Donations like this are a way of making amends. You just feel bad. Which is good enough for me, because we take your money nonetheless. You are quite welcome. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Nope. You take care. Alright, we got two out of the three money donations. Let's go talk back. Let's wrap up this quest. And uh, let's stop being such a nice fucking person. Let's just jetpack over here. All this walking ain't, ain't doing me no good. Alright, go ahead and wrap up this quest. Alien extravaganza. We gotta go check that out. I read the card right said, Don't let Raisha fool you. Elias and Raisha both sent their donations. Thank you. No word from the trade authority. I'm sorry I even asked. I like to believe everyone is capable of empathy and compassion, but people like Duncan test my faith. I didn't say that, but I'm not going to correct you. Sarah Philborn gave me these credits to give to you for your help with the farm. You more than deserve it. Those credits are from the grateful Philborns, not me. And I wouldn't take a single one. You've earned it. I have one more thing for you to do. But I hope it's more of a reward. This is part of the Intelliwit Harvest. I'd like you to deliver it to Simone Jansen and her family. I want you to see the fruits of your labors. Okay. Uh, let's go find this person and... Talk to some poor people. And grids pay off in the long run. I'll let you provide for his family. Amira said to expect you. This wheat ensures my family won't go to bed hungry. I, I genuinely don't know what my family would do without Amira. And uh, you. You have no. That is a full ass sandwich. Ain't no way that wheat, you just had the rest of the ingredients just laying around. Oh, 
over here in Aquila, it's humbling to see regular people just looking after us. On behalf of my family, of my daughter, bless you. All right, damn, we came up. Thank you for saving my husband. What? That was a nice way to wrap up a good feel good story i think we're gonna wrap it up right there and we'll end today's episode on that moment we made eight thousand dollars or eight thousand credits we fed the homeless we killed some spacers and you know what at the end of the day that's what a mantis does man we just take care of the people so until next time it's your boy augie reality comics gaming starfield episode 10 is a wrap See ya.